style Bridgeport Miller machine. It's got a 48 inch table, it's got the belt drive head, two axis DRO. You can upgrade the DRO to three or four axis if you wish. Uh, you can also upgrade it to Y axis power feed or Z axis power feed if needed. So uh, I'm going to give you a virtual demonstration machine now. And then obviously once you've had a good look at that, please come down and see it in real life. Okay, so it's a nice machine. It's got great chrome beds on it, a few lead screws and nuts. Almost no backlash at all around the X, really nice. Same with the wires, all the inside. A bit smooth all the way across. We've got some close up pictures of the beds so you can see how good they are. Uh, they'll be emailed across to anyone who wants them. So that's all nice. Same with the knee, this is all in service. So that's all running really good. All the locks have been serviced, so they're all working, working great. Uh, the knee lock as well down there is working good. The lube's all been serviced, so we've got brand new pipes, brand new oil distribution valves, uh, all the lube pumps have been serviced, that's all been checked and it's working great. Okay, so moving on to the uh, power feed. Okay, so initialise the machine before you to get the lights on. Close the card, obviously. Make sure each stops out. Press the green button. Make sure the one on the far left is down, because that initialises the head, and that needs to be on all the time to initialise the machine. The third one along is the power feed, and that brings this light on here. There's another switch here, so you can turn it on and off. And when it's got power, this light is on. So if that's good, then you can power up. Okay. So there's the speed. So that's about as slow as you can go there. You should be able to see it still moving on the x-axis DRO read out there. And you can wrap it over at right any time. Press the button on the bottom on the top. Take your finger off and goes back to the feed rate that you previously set. Same the other way. Okay, it's all good. So you can move these stops up to wherever you need them to be, wherever the job is. Uh, but just don't take them off. Uh, underneath here, as you see, we've hidden a, hidden a little stop under there. It's critical that you don't take that out and don't take this off. And that's there to the stop that any, anything, the table over travel and hit the scale that's on the back. So just take, don't move them wherever you like, but don't take them off. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go on to the belt drive head now and the quilt. Test both of those. Just turn that down. Walk into it. Okay, so fire it up. Put the quiet on the belt drive head. It's a twin speed motor, that's the first speed. That's the second speed. So we're in this range now. So we've got uh, in low range 67 RPM, 550 RPM. Sorry, we're in this range here. We've got 115 RPM, low, 920, 230. 184 hours the range uh, the speed range. Okay, so we engage the feet, engage the feet, feet up now. We reverse that. Feet back down again. So for every spin of speed, you've got three different feet rates. That's the highest at the moment. That's the lowest. And that's the medium. That all working really good. Just let it trip out to the south now. There we go, it trips out just far out of the zone. Okay, 
that's the first speed and the second. Still in high range now on the gears that is. You know how that is, it's not very quiet. That's running at 1840 RPM. Just hit, I'm only hit the brake just to show you that it does actually work. Okay, so we want to change now from high to low range on the gears. So this handle on the back, you want to pull forward, lock it in. And this one, you want to go to the side, make sure it's all the way there, and then you're good to fire up. So it's running now uh, 115 up here. To make it engage the gear. You hear that? You must make it do that. As long as you make it do that, it'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so fire it up again. Yeah, it's running absolutely beautifully. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please come down and see it for yourself in real life. Uh, it's a lovely machine. It's ready to go. Just plug and play. Thanks for watching.